On Monday, April 23, 2012, Staff Inspector Mike Earl hosted a press conference at Toronto Police Headquarters in order to identify this suspect in an armored car robbery that occurred in November of 2011. If you have information, please contact him directly at 416-808-7350 or anonymously submit a tip to Crime Stoppers. I'm here uh, to talk about a Garda truck robbery that occurred on the 18th of November 2011 at about 9.40 p.m. On this date and time that uh, there was two members of the Garda company driving a truck as uh, depicted in the screen beside me. Uh, in the area of uh, 111 Grange Way, which is in Scarborough, making a delivery to the RBC. At that time, they were the two guards were ambushed by three males, two were uh, two armed with handguns, one with a shotgun. Came out of the bushes, ordered the guards to the ground, removed their handguns and a quantity of cash. The investigation has been ongoing since the 18th of November by members of the holdup squad. We are looking for the public's assistance and media's assistance in trying to identify an individual who we believe is a suspect in this robbery. This person here is described as a male white between 40 to 50 years of age. What has happened is uh, since the investigation commenced on the 18th of November, a U-Haul truck was observed as being utilized during the robbery. The three individuals that uh, took the money and the guards' guns got into the U-Haul truck there may or may not be a, a fourth person involved, a driver. As, as a result of the investigation, we put an alert out for U-Haul vehicles, and within a few weeks, we identified the U-Haul vehicle. The U-Haul vehicle was located in Scarborough and seized, at which time an expert examination was conducted. The individual that you see in the, in the screen rented the U-Haul vehicle that was utilized in the robbery. This individual had identification that was an identification takeover. I cannot give you the person's name that he utilized because that person is a living body. He basically used a credit card and a driver's license of an individual. Totally fraud. He's done this in the past at other uh, rental places in Scarborough. But we believe this individual here is going to be the link to lead us to the, the perpetrators involved in this ambush. This individual is either a pawn, been duped into renting the vehicle and they got the vehicle from him, or he could be as, as high up as the mastermind of this whole operation. So we need the public's assistance to identify this individual. We believe this person will lead us to the culprits involved. We're also looking for the two handguns that are still missing from the guards. They're Glock 17 handguns. We're trying to get these off the street so they're not using any other crimes. The description of the suspects involved in the robbery are still, the, nothing has changed from the, the beginning. Three males, totally dark clothing. We cannot give you anything further than that other than they are with two handguns and a shotgun. This is the best information, the best thing we have right here is this individual. So anybody that has any information on this individual, if you can please call Crime Stoppers or the Hold Up Squad. All we need is a name. Questions? You said that he's, he's done this before. Can you tell us more about that? The identity that he's stolen uh, has been used in other frauds in the Scarborough area from rented vehicles, uh, approximately three or four around the same time frame as uh, this U-Haul truck that was uh, obtained through fraud and utilized in this robbery. By him? Have you seen him on the same guy on certain security camera video? Yes. Or, yeah? This is the best picture. We're, we're providing you the media and the public are the best picture we have of this individual. Were the other vehicles used in uh, robberies or other crimes? Not that we're aware of. Other crimes, they could be absolutely used in other crimes, but we have no other similar robberies or robberies where you call vehicle, at least in Toronto, that we're aware of. Is this a common tactic, uh, renting vehicles to use them in crimes? Oh, I believe it's a common tactic. It's very unusual for us to have a rental vehicle utilized in an armored car robbery. First of all, we don't have a lot of armored car robberies, thank God, in, in Toronto, but to, to rent a vehicle as the getaway vehicle is very unusual. Staff Inspector, can you just review why you think this is the fellow? Like, if you think he's a pawn, uh, why do you think he's a suspect? Is it possible that he, he's, a, you know, been uh, coerced into doing this, or, or you think he's actually involved? 
Well, he's obviously involved in crime. So whether that he he's accessory to the robbery or he could be as high up as the mastermind of the robbery, we don't know. We need to identify this individual so we can link all of put the puzzle together and link everything together. He could be being duped into this, but he's obviously done this before, so he's a criminal utilizing stolen identification and fraudulently obtained identification. So he is in the criminal element. So whether he's somebody they reached out to go to, or whether he's put this whole plan together, I don't know until we find him. It, it kind of looks like he's wearing a mask. I is that a possibility? The, uh, I don't think so. I mean, he, he's been uh, seen in, in several rental agencies. He's never been described as with a mask. And uh, the, uh, the actual pictures are, are very similar in each one. He, he always dresses well in a suit. Um, he's either got a shaved head or he's completely bald. And he's described as 40 to 50 years of age. So this is yeah. taken at a rental agency. Can you Absolutely. say where? This one here in Scarborough. I don't want to name the agency, but it's in Scarborough. Accent? Any accent? There was no, uh, no accent that was. Where is this? Oh, sorry, you said you don't want to name this. How much money do you stole from the bank? How much money was stolen from the bank? Well, it was stolen from the truck, and, and because Sorry, of, from the truck, pardon me. Because of the, uh, again, because of the investigation, because of the way the trucks operate, it takes a long time to audit all the money that was in there. We have uh, we have received just recently the information that it's over a million dollars was taken in this truck robbery. How did you get the person's ID to use? Their ID, their credit card, it was all belonging to the same it's, person. It's what's happening out there, and I'm sure you've heard from the financial crime district, identification theft. That's why we recommend people shredding any t any type of identification or any paperwork with your names and addresses on and credit cards, etc. This this is an identification takeover. This individual actually has the person's driver's license and credit cards uh, utilized by that individual. Any, any suspicion that this could be an inside job? No, none whatsoever. Any other questions? Did you say, Mike, um, like that you recovered the vehicle? The vehicle has been recovered, and uh, in in Scarborough, it was re recovered within a, a few weeks of the uh, the actual incident, and uh, we're positive that uh, we've got the right vehicle. Was it damaged in any way, or can you give us any more details on that? No, there was no damage to the vehicle, but uh, there was evidence in the vehicle that links that vehicle to the crime scene. Such as? I'm not going to comment on that. What about the guns? I don't know if somebody asked this already, but have they been linked to any incidents here in the GTA? Well, we don't have the firearms to, so we can compare them. But obviously, we want to get these firearms off the street to ensure that they're not used in any other crime. And we want to capture these individuals that committed this crime to ensure that they're not planning another one uh, or that they're not doing other crimes out there. Was the, was the vehicle uh, abandoned, would you say? Where was it, where was it found? It was found in the area of uh, Kennedy and Progress. And was it, have you seen similar uh, situations with the other vehicles that this guy has rented where they show up a few weeks later in, in this area? Not in this area, but they have been recovered a few weeks later, yes. Any more questions? Okay. So, what about this guy? I mean, what do you say to this guy? Obviously, he's in, you know. Really, not he with such a large amount of money stolen, he's wanted for multiple robberies. What does he have to gain in turning himself in? Or are you just hoping for a tip to who he might be? Well, the thing that he may gain, he may just be a minor fraudster. If he wants to turn himself in and, and come and talk to us, he may be able to put the names to the individuals that committed the robbery, and he may have been just a, a small fraudster pawn guy that was paid to get a rental vehicle. So there is an advantage for him turning himself in to give his side of the story before we uh, actually apprehend him through crime stoppers or other means. I think he's still in the country. I have no reason to believe he's not in the country. Okay, thank you for attending. Today's conference is now concluded. You'll, uh, you'll be able to find the YouTube portion on the Toronto Police website on uh, today's conference. Thank you.